In this video, I will explain how to use the getters and setters in the online Remix IDE. This tutorial uses the online Remix IDE to compile and debug the Solidity smart contracts without having to install any software on your computer. An up-to-date online version is accessible at remix.ethereum.org. The Solidity test contract used in this video can be found at www.mobilefish.com slash download slash ethereum slash testcontract.sol.txt A link to this presentation can be found in the description below. There are some simple rules for using the remix setters and getters. Do not place integers and booleans between double quotes. Addresses must start with 0x and must be between double quotes. Place array values between square brackets and place all other values between double quotes. This is my Chrome browser, and I'm now at remix.ethereum.org. I've selected the JavaScript VM environment. In this video, I will be using this test contract. Copy it and paste it. You can ignore these warnings. By default, you will get five test accounts with Ether in it. Press the Create button. It will compile the Solidity contract. Let's close this. These are my getters and these are my setters. First, let's try the setter method, set account. It is this method, set account. It requires an address, and address must be placed between double quotes and must start with 0x. Press this button, and the value is now set. Let's use the getter method to retrieve this value. As you can see, this value matches what we have entered over here. Let's try this setter method, zValue. Here's the setter method. It requires an integer, so let's try this one. Press the button. The value is now set. Let's check it. And it's the same what we have entered over here. You can use the scientific notation. Press the button. Let's check the value. And yes, that's correct. Let's try the set requirements method. Set requirements is this method. It is a mapping. It requires an integer and it requires a data type. And the data type is set by entering a string and another string. Now it's a global variable and it sets the current block timestamp. An integer and two strings. Press this button. This is the key and it returns the data type. Here is the requirements getter method. It requires the key and the key is 456. And here you see the two string values and this is the current block timestamp. And now let's check the set register method. That is this method. It requires an address and an array of integers. Let's copy this and put it in here. And the array must be placed between square brackets and the values are separated by commas. Press this button. So set register is a mapping. The key is an address and it returns an array of integers. So let's check the getter, this one. To retrieve the value 3, we need to enter the address. And we need to enter the index number 0, 1, 2. Index number 2 to get the value 3 back. And as you can see, the value 3 is returned. Let's check this method set numbers. Set numbers requires an array of numbers. Let's copy these values. The array values are put in between square brackets. Press the set numbers button. If you want to return the value 2, we need to enter the index number 0, 1, index number 1. 
and then press the numbers button and here you see the value 2. Let's check set name method. Here is a set name method. It requires as input a bytes32 type. If we enter the word hello, this is smaller than 32 bytes. Press this button. Let's check our getter. The word hello is now converted into a hexadecimal string. Copy this hexadecimal string. You can use this hexadecimal to text converter. Place the hexadecimal value in here and press the convert button. It converts the hexadecimal into the word hello. And that is what we have entered in here. If we enter a string which is exactly 32 bytes long, press this button and press this button again. Copy this hexadecimal string and paste it in here. You can see it is exactly the same value what we have entered. Now, instead of 32 bytes, let's make it 33 bytes. Press this button, set name, and press this button again. Copy this hexadecimal value. And as you can see, the last digit 3 is missing. The type bytes 32 can hold only 32 bytes and not 33 bytes. Now let's check the method set enabled. It requires a boolean. Let's set it to true. Press the set enabled button. The value is now set. Let's check our getter. Press this button. And as you can see, the value true is set. Last, this method set description. It requires a string. Press the set description button. The value is set. Let's check our getter, press this button, and you can see the value hello world is set. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.